Do you see my forehead? Holy cow, I'm getting old. Jeez. All right, so with getting old comes sometimes a little bit of uh, a little bit of what? Where's my where's my thought going? With getting old comes a little bit of uh, experience in certain areas. And with me, my experience is with Brent Mason because quite honestly, I am and have been completely infatuated. Sort of a stalker type relationship. Yeah, so if you don't know the Brent Mason relationship, let me let, let me uh, lay it on you real quick. So I was a gigantic fan of Brent Mason. If you don't, who, don't know who Brent Mason is, listen to anything that's been on the country radio for the past 15 or 20 years. 25 years. All through the 90s and the 2000s, how about that? And uh, yes, he played on a ton of stuff. Of course, we have the hot wired pedal. But I was a fan. I was learning all his stuff. And, you know, there was a time where... My wife at the time, I, I've had several wives, just so you know. My wife at the time, I asked what I wanted for a birthday, and I said, I want guitar lessons with Brent Mason. That's what I want. I want Brent Mason to show me some stuff. And this was long before, long before guitar pedals, like were ever thought in my mind. And so that was, com that's not going to happen. And then, uh, you know, what's cool is that after I did get in guitar pedals, I was still a Brent Mason fan, by the way, and... Uh, I was making Brent Mason stuff. I actually stalked him on a forum and begged him to uh, try some of my stuff. He was playing at a club in Nashville. I took some of those pedals to him. Then he called me the next day and said, I love these pedals. Used it on, I think it was a Toby Keith. He used it on a Toby Keith session. Loved it. It's great. And from then on, just, yeah, he's a, I've got a man crush on the guy. Got to be honest. So uh, I love me some Brent Mason. So this video is about getting the Brent Mason tone that is like the traditional Brent Mason tone. So we're talking Alan Jackson, uh, you know, old school Brooks and, Brooks and Dunn, that sort of thing. It's really not anything near as complicated as one might think. And even talking to Brent, he's like, dude, I just had a compressor and a couple of deluxes. That's all, I was just going for it. A lot of it's technique. In this situation, I'm using uh, three of the pedals that Brent does use. Uh, well, kind of. He uses the Eagle Compressor, he uses the uh, Faux Tape Echo, and he also uses the Faux Spring Reverb. So with that, I'm going to jump right in to a couple of sound samples of how to get the sound. I'm running a Telecaster into these pedals, into a Deluxe Reverb, and uh, I think you dig it. If not, I'm going to have fun playing it. So let's get to it. If you're looking for any of those older Brent Mason tones, you know, the, the 90s era, maybe early 2000s, a good compressor, a delay with just a little bit of slap back on it, a decent spring reverb. Uh, Brent likes to use the faux spring reverb. You can use the one-year amps. I'm sure it'll be totally fine. If you're looking for the newer stuff, make sure you check out the hot wire. That's the, the newer stuff once we get a little more into the 2000s, 2005, 2010. That's when you start getting the hot wired era stuff like Blake Shelton. It's a lot of hot wired on, on that type of stuff. Uh, Trace Atkins and... Uh, the, the cool overdriven tones, a lot of hot wired. So, hope this helped you. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you comment below. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.